run this government have no faith in us. My plan is going to change that and bring the budget back. And the answer's been right in front of us the whole time. Ew, check your testicles. No, not that, although that is very good advice. I'm looking at you, Jerry. No, what's going to save us is right there. Showtime. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'm Leslie Monster, and this is Nightline. Okay, I wouldn't open with that. No. Nope. Why don't we sit down? Yep. I can't let you do this, Leslie. Hey, this ain't your call, McCluskey. The time is now. The place is Pawnee. Let's make history. Yes, sir. Are we going to get the same sales tax incentives we used to? That's a very good question, sir, and I would counter with my own question, which is, why is half of your face all swirly? Okay. Um, unfortunately, Leslie has another very important meeting right now, so if you have any other questions, you can just direct them uh, towards me. Give it up, everybody, for Scott Bakula from Quantum Leap. All right. Okay. Let's... Okay, everybody, the Harvest Festival is tomorrow, and I am so proud of all of you. You've worked so hard. You're amazing. So I have a surprise. And it is possibly the best thing to potentially ever happen to anyone, anywhere in the history of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Lil Sebastian. What? Yes! Oh, oh my god! Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 Yes, take my that is Lil Sebastian. Take my picture. Take my picture. Take my picture. <laughs> well done, Leslie. Well done. <laughs> I never thought I get to meet him. Wow. Lil Sebastian made his debut at the Last Harvest Festival in 1987, and he was an instant phenomenon. That week, he was the eighth most photographed object in America. So suck it, the Alamo. I'm sitting next to Lil Sebastian. I know. I right know. now, I'm know. here. Lil Sebastian's right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. So what am I missing? What's the deal with this pony? He's not a pony, man. He's a mini horse. There's a big difference. Well, then why is he so famous? Does he, does he, does he do something? What does he do? Yeah, he does being a mini horse, and he does it better than anyone. Son, this horse has an honorary degree from Notre Dame. We all need to be very careful, OK? Remember, this little guy's 25 now. And he has cataracts in both eyes. He has severe arthritis. Jerry's going to look after him. Yes, I am. We are both on the same diabetes medication. Are you my glue control buddy? <laughs> are you? Huh? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah, I, I just got to be honest. I don't know what the big deal is. Get out. This is sacred burial ground. And I just hope that the souls of my ancestors don't put a curse on this festival. There are two things I know about white people. They love Rachel Ray, and they are terrified of curses. Where's little Sebastian? Uh, somebody let the gate open and he got out, Jerry. What are you talking about? Unbelievable. Another in a long string of miserable failures. You lost little Sebastian! I wasn't even here! Jerry's fault. Jerry's, Jerry's fault. fault. Jerry's fault. fault. Jerry's, Jerry's fault. fault. Stop Jerry's it! The fact is, this carnival is being held on top of an ancient Lomopoke burial site. Much like the house in the movie Poltergeist. Exactly. I spoke to Leslie Nope of the Parks Department about moving the carnival, and she refused. We do have exclusive animation of that event. Let's take a look. Oh, I love these things. Sorry. Whoa. Is that what happened? Food. None of that happened. That is exactly what happened. First of all, we have plenty of food. There's no food shortage. There are not, as one reporter suggested, dozens of escaped convicts meandering around the carnival. And at no time was any Parks Department worker, quote, feasting on petting zoo animals. <laughs> Mama Puka, Olive, Wapa Kuka, Honey Hey, Luby, Luby, Lu. With that sacred ceremony, the Wamapo curse has been lifted. Wow, thank you. Intense stuff from Ken Hotate. And in other good news, 
He gave us a scare, but he's back now. The one, the only, Lil Sebastian. is amazing. You finally get it now, right? Hello? He's fantastic. I totally get it now. I don't get it. At all. It's kind of a small horse. I mean, what am I missing? Am I crazy? Ben, Ben, you just missed it. He winning. Oh, yeah, no, I totally heard that. It was great. <laughs>